Hello and welcome to the Coding Bytes. I am Abhishek Parmar and in this video we will talk about Wipro NLTH which is a national level exam conducted by Wipro and it is an off campus drive. Now before starting this video if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you never miss any update. So in this video first of all we will see what is Wipro NLTH, what is the pattern of Wipro NLTH, who can apply and at the end I will tell you my experience of Wipro NLTH and why I was not allowed for the interview process even after clearing the online test. So first of all as I told you Wipro NLTH is a national level exam conducted by Wipro and Wipro hires freshers through this exam. Wipro is also conducting on campus drive in some of their partner colleges and students who have attended the on campus drive may not be allowed for the Wipro NLTH which is an off campus drive. So as of now Wipro has not announced any official date and pattern for the NLTH for 2021 students but in this video we will discuss the last year pattern and the eligibility criteria and once Wipro announces the official date and the other details so we will update on this channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now talking about the test pattern so Wipro conducts the online test through MCAT platform which you may have seen in exams during Cognizant, Accenture and other companies online test. So in the Wipro NLTH you have 5 section prior to the interviews and you will have to clear these 5 sections to be eligible for the interviews. So last year there were 16 questions in the aptitude sections and you will have to solve these questions in 16 minutes. And some of the important topic for this section are number system, LCM HCF, work and time, pipe system, time, speed and distance etc. Similarly you have 14 questions in reasoning section and you will have to solve these questions in 14 minutes. Some of the important topics for this section are coding decoding, data interpretation, data sufficiency, blood relation, clock and calendars etc. And in the verbal ability you have 22 questions and you will have to solve these questions in 18 minutes. And for the verbal section the topics are active to passive voice, tenses, proposition, articles, subject verb agreement, error sporting etc. And after this you have an essay writing in which you will be given a topic and you will have to write an essay in 20 minutes. And the last section is a coding section where you have two questions of moderate level and you can solve these questions in C, C++, Java and Python. Now let's see who can apply. So the students of engineering in any stream can apply for Wipro and LTH and you must have at least 60% and above in your 10th and 12th and 6.0 CGPA and above in your graduation and your year of passing should be 2021 and maximum 3 years of gap is allowed and there should not be any backlog. Now let's talk about my experience of Wipro and LTH and why I was not allowed for the interview process even after clearing the online test. So as I discussed there were 5 sections in the online test. So first of all I cleared these 5 sections and then I received a mail for the technical and HR interview. So when I reached the venue I was asked to submit my resume and then I was called for the technical interview. So I entered the room and wished good afternoon to the interviewer and then he asked me the first question. Tell me something about yourself. So as I was prepared I started giving my introduction and suddenly after 20 to 30 seconds interviewer told me to stop and uh, then he saw me his uh, laptop screen which has some of my pictures taken during the test then he told me that uh, sorry we cannot move forward with your interview because uh, your face is not completely visible in the pictures so he was like uh, let me ask the HR once and then he went to the HR to ask uh, whether I should be allowed for the further process or not. So after returning from HR's room, interviewer told me that uh, we cannot allow you because even if we allow you for the interviews and even if I get selected, then I can also be rejected in the onboarding process because of the picture issue. So I said thank you sir and I left the room but obviously I was not happy at that time and not only because of my pictures but also because it was not my fault. It was the fault of the management uh, who was organizing the exam and didn't place the webcam at the right place. And that's why I was rejected. So please remember whenever you are giving any exam make sure you are clearly visible in the webcam. So that's it for today and I will post more videos for the preparation of Wipro NLTH and other exams. So please subscribe to the channel and if you want to practice the previous year questions so you can visit our website PrepDrive. The link is available in the description box. Thanks for watching.